Hello, Brian Stork, Grandview Heights High School Counselor here. In this video, I will briefly cover how to read your schedule. This may look a little different than schedules you've seen in previous schools. I'll point out a couple quick things that can hopefully answer a lot of frequent questions. Here is what a sample schedule looks like. Your name and address should appear in the upper left hand corner. Additional student information is in the upper right hand. The bottom part is your schedule and I'll break down each column for you. First of all, if your schedule has a column listed as course and a column listed as SEC, short for section, these are just the codes that correspond to your classes. Just ignore these columns. Oftentimes, students confuse that SEC column for the period. Again, just ignore that. We are actually working with Gradebook to take this off of your schedules, so you may not have these columns when you get your hard copy. The column labeled course name is just that. These are the courses you signed up for when we did scheduling. In some cases, one of your alternative choices may be listed here. This is pretty much the order you will follow your schedule, but there'll be more on this here shortly. The term column just lets you know, is this an all year class, which goes all year, all school year, or just a semester class, or, or just half the year, first or second semester. Meeting time. This column is important and contains a lot of information. First, you see a group of letters M, W, R, F, for example. That stands for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You'll need to know these days when we're back in a normal schedule with in-person classes. If we are hybrid or online, then you'll attend or participate each class every day. So if we're all online to start, then you can ignore these days, day letters. Now the first number you see is actually the period that you attend. The number in parentheses on the right is, in, is the classroom number. You only need this if we're in hybrid or in person. So in this example, the student has algebra one all year, first period, and room 119. If you look towards the bottom, it appears as though this student has two eighth period classes. If you look at the term column next to that, you'll notice one is first semester and the other is second semester. The teacher column is your classroom teacher's name. Some cases, like algebra one, those classes will have two co-teaching teachers. If you need to email a teacher, it's simple. You just type their first name, dot, last name, at ghschools.org. The credit column just outlines how much credit each course on your schedule is worth. Thank you for watching, and I hope this answers questions you have about your schedule and how to read it when you get a hard copy. It's important to pay attention to which plan we're following and which periods you are attending if in person or hybrid, or logging into online. Good luck and have a great school year.